Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this video will be an addition to lead code 100 programs playlist. We'll solve Joel's and Stone's problem in this video. So this program says that you are given strings, jewels, representing the types of stones that are jewels and stones representing the stones you have. Each character in a stone is a type of stone you have. So simply it is saying that will give you some stones. You need to identify how many stones are jewels. For an example, they have given you these many stones. So you need to understand one point here, like each character in stones is a type of stone you have. Means we have these many stones. We have single A and capital A twice and small b four times. So out of these stones, I want to know that how many jewels means small a and capital A you have. The program is very simple but they are giving you some paragraph which you need to understand. The only thing you need to do, you need to get the count of small a and capital A from these stones. So how many small a you have in these stones? We have only one occurrence. How many capital A we have in stones? We have two times. So we need to add one plus two, total three. So output will be three. Similarly here, we have G, right? And here we have capital G. So how many small g we have here? We have none. That's why the output is zero. You got the problem, right? So we need to find how many jewels we have from the stones you have given. So whenever you feel that we need to find the occurrence or we need to find the count. So every time you can think of a logic using the hash map. What I can do simple approach. I will simply iterate this string and I will get the count of each character from the stone. So if I get the count, so how many times small a we have, we have only once. How many times we have capital A? We have twice. And how many times we have small b? We have four times. So after getting the count, I need to find how many A we have and how many capital A we have. So total 1 plus 2 equal to 3. This we need to do. So to get the count of each character, we can use the hash map. And then we will iterate, iterate this jewels and we will get the value of those characters. So this is really simple program and let's jump to IntelliJ to write the code. So since I need to return the count, so I will initialize the variable with zero. So let me create an object of hash map, hash map of character. I'm missing the value type here. So let me put the integer. So I'm going to use the for loop since I will use the to care array method. So it will return me a care. So what we need to do here, I need to go care by care in these stones and I need to insert into the map. But how? Suppose when you get the A, right? So first time the, the map is empty. So I need to insert that key or character into map. So it, the key will be A and value will be one because this is first time. For the next character, we'll get the capital A. So capital A again, we don't have capital A in my map. So I will simply insert it like capital A equal to one. When we encounter the capital A again, I need to increment the count this time, right? Because we have already capital A. So what I need to do, I need to simply get the existing value, then do the plus one. Then only count will be incremented. So this time it will be like one plus one, two. Similarly, once you get the small b, so first time it will be one, but from next encounter you need to get the current value of b and you need to add plus one that's why you'll get the proper counter so to implement this you can write three or four lines of code to do that one you need to get the whether map consists of that key or not if it consists then take the current value then add plus one if it doesn't consist then insert is a new character into the map with the current value as one but we can do all these in by calling a single method and that method is called get or default care count dot put here to pass the character which will be c and then care count dot get or default so here the first argument you need to pass key which will be my c and then zero which is the default value what this method will do it will check if this character is present in my map if it is present then it will take the value and return. Otherwise, it will give you the default value. Okay. So after this, 
you need to simply do the plus one now we need to iterate this string care by care and get the value from the map so for that again i'm going to use the for each loop it will return me care so let me use the care c colon jewels dot to care array since here we have only single line in the block then we can also remove this curly braces i need to get the value from the map so care counts dot get or here again i can use get or default because so that if the key or character doesn't exist in my map then it's not exception right so i can use a get or default if key is present give me the value or give return me simply zero i don't want to go and handle the exception explicitly and i will use count equal to count plus so only one line you can make it more shorter by using the plus equal sign and you can remove this one and here we have only one line of code so i can remove the curly braces as well so that's all we need to do if i run the program now we should get the expected output okay so we have three and we have zero so let me show you in debug mode how it is working so run in the debug mode so initially you can see we have jewels we have stones we have count zero initially and the first character we got small a and whatever 97 you see that is ascii value so let me show you this method what it will return you can select the syntax and use the evaluator so you can see care count dot get or default let's see what is the output of this method so it is giving zero why because currently the map care count is empty or in short i can say that this care count does not contain the key small a that's why it is giving zero because we have set the default value as zero if we set the default value as one then it will return one so if i go step over then i can see in care count map we have one entry that small a and the value is one similarly if i go for next one so i think it will go again in the same way so it will enter capital a and we have one now let's see the third point if i go and evaluate this expression here so this time c value is capital a and in the map we have already one capital a so this time this method will return you one because map consists capital a so it return the value of capital a which will be one then we are doing the one plus one so we'll have the value of capital a as two so let me do a step over if i expand the count you can see here a small a once and capital a twice we have so let me run for all the characters so this for loop is over and if you come down you can see that the small a we have once capital a we have twice and small b we have four times now i need to simply get the count for the characters present in joel so let me go and put a debug point here and let me show you that so if i evaluate this expression so currently c value is small a so for so small a we have only one so it will give me one suppose if i put here put the small c which we don't have in my map see if i run this one or evaluate this one it will give me the zero because c doesn't exist in the map so i hope you understood how get or default is working so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone